Aloha, my name is Shannon Kel Kalau Kalani Awugi Seno. I am from Kaneohe, Oahu. If I were to describe my time at KS in one word, it would be long. After 13 years, it's one of the only places I would consider home besides from Kaneohe. My favorite memory from KS is uh, meeting with my friends and then buying breakfast inside the elementary dining hall. That was where I formed one of my longest lasting relationships. The biggest lesson I learned from KS is to take advantage of all the opportunities given to you. KS provides a wonderful chance for Native Hawaiians to explore themselves and their culture and to learn from it. My biggest advice to a current KS kindergartner is to take those advantages. You have 13 years to do a lot. So if you just stick in there, buckle yourself up for a ride and then take it, you'll do great. My plans for the future is to go to Grand Canyon University and study electrical engineering. If I were to say anything to Wahi, it would be thank you for the best moments of my life. Mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Tanner Choi. I am from Kailua. Uh, personally, I would describe my time at KS in one word to be a gift. More so a blessing just because of how surreal it's felt been going through these last 13 years. Um, I know my parents definitely wanted me to go here a lot actually, but I can't imagine myself going anywhere else, honestly. All the memories I've made and through all the ups and downs in school, um, I really can't see myself going anywhere else and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Honestly, my favorite memory at KS was our sixth grade huakai. I just remember it vividly to this day just because of how amazing it was as an experience. I've never had anything that got me as close to the class that I was going to be spending the next six years with. It was really memorable and I made a lot of great friends that I still know to, to this day and without it, uh, I don't know how the last few years would have been. Um, personally, the biggest lesson that I learned at KS is that time is very finite. Um, I remember always counting on there being another day, another month, another year to get the things done that I wanted to do. And I think this year especially was a wake up call that you know, high school only lasts so long, and with the time that we had as a class, I know I could have made more of it, but in the end, I'm still glad that I got to spend all this time with our class of 21. Um, for a current KS kindergartner, I, I would pretty much just tell them the whole thing about time, because, you know, although it's kind of hard sometimes if it's boring in, in school or just waiting for the days to, to go past, you know, it, it's as that, that saying goes, um, don't count the days, make the days count because you don't want to spend all your, your classes or most of your classes just watching the clock, waiting for time to tick down, waiting for the next period, the next day, next year, because it's going to be there a lot sooner than you think and you might regret ending up having all that time just counting and waiting for the next thing to come around. Uh, my plans for the future, I plan pretty much to just go to college, get my degree, graduate, and then just see where life takes me after that. But it's pretty much because of this school that I have everything that I need to be capable of leading the future that I want to have. Um, if while he were here, I'd pretty much just tell her thank you for everything. I know our teachers have always told us that we should be very grateful that we're here. Our spot was, it could have gone to anyone else, but in the end, we ended up with a seat at KS, and I think we all kind of took those words for granted. And I know only this year, I began to realize how much it really meant, and I couldn't be more grateful for everything that happened. And yeah, mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Camille Firi, and I'm from Makakilo. Um, to describe my time here at KS in one word, I would definitely say grateful just for all the times, like with my classmates, the opportunities, the teachers, the lunch, everything. Just like really grateful. And my favorite memory here at KS, deciding between two, I would say Huakai in sixth grade, just because we never really went on trips. It was kind of like a rare occasion. So I think that's pretty unique that we did that. And my second favorite memory would be traveling to San Francisco with my basketball team this past year. Just like bonding with your like teammates outside of school and doing stuff outside like 
all kinds of journeys, just learning new stuff with them. That would be definitely a memory. The biggest lesson that I learned here would be to take advantage of the many opportunities, like all the resources that we have, clubs, like all the side things, extra curricular activities, to just be involved. That would be the biggest lesson that I've learned. Advice for current kindergarteners, I would say to make the most of it because it goes by in a blink of an eye and just try and be more involved and do all the fun things, like even when you're young because it goes by really fast. And my plans for the future, I'm going to Southern Oregon University to play basketball. And I think Kamema helped me to shape my journey that way with the opportunities that they provided, whether it was academically or athletically, that allowed me to play and go to school at the next level and help me like learn, like the teachers that helped me get good grades to be able to receive money and whether it was coaches, help me learn, all of that. It's what, it, what I'm thankful for. Um, to Pauahi, I would just say thank you for everything. I don't really wanna go in detail, like just big thank you. And yeah, mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Mahina Kaomea. I'm from Heeia. In one word, I describe my time at Kamehameha as ho'oulu, um, as a time of much growth, both growing into the person that I am today and also growing my connection with my classmates around me. My favorite mem memory at KS was being able to be present at the Onipa'a March um, on the 125th commemoration of the illegal overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom. I was in the Kohole program my freshman year um, and we went as a group. But being able to be present with people from Kamehameha um, and also people from our brother Lahui was really powerful. The biggest lesson that I learned at Kamehameha um, was probably that the, the most important things and the things that I'll remember most happen outside of the classroom. Um, I spent a lot of time here in the mala around campus, working in the aina, growing kalo and olena and uala. Um, and besides all the things I learned in the classroom from my kumu, I also learned a lot from this aina and from spending time with my friends and uncles from operations working on that aina. Um, so that was a space of a lot of fun for me. And a lesson I learned is that Learnings don't only happen in the classroom, they happen outside too. Advice I'd give a current KS kindergartner um, is to enjoy your time here. It goes by fast. And also that finding communities or finding places where you feel like you belong and you're loved is really important. Um, and you'll find them along the way. Everyone's path to finding them is different. But once you find those communities, um, you really have a wonderful time in your 13 years here. Um, in the future, I guess a long-term goal I have is to return to my aupua of He'eya and create a aina and Hawaiian culture-based school. I um, mean, that's been really inspired by kumu that I've had during my time here, um, and especially my time in the Kauhale program, as well as in my Olala Hawaii and Hawaiian culture and Hawaiian history classes. Um, so I think Kamehameha has been really instrumental in helping me, um, like inspiring me to have that as a goal. Um, and if I could say anything to Poahi, I would mahalo her for her vision as someone who myself is very interested in education, like knowing that educating our people and having that as part of her vision um, is something that's really inspiring to me and, and something I'd like to walk in the footsteps of. So, mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Aisha Knight. I'm from Mililani, Oahu. And if I could describe my time at KS in one word, it would have to be unique because there are so many words that could describe my time at KS. But unique is probably the best word that suits how I could describe my time at KS. Um, my favorite memory at KS would have to be my time from kindergarten to sixth grade because we were all so close, I would have to say, during those times. And we had fifth grade play and huaka'i aloha aina. 
So that was something that I hold close to my heart because not a lot of kids at that age are able to experience such things like that. Um, my biggest lesson I've learned at KS is to really be able to adapt. And I would have to say for our grade, we had to adapt a lot throughout the years with a lot of things being taken away or new things happening with our grade. So I would, we were basically the guinea pig years. So I would have to say adaptation is a big lesson I learned and that's something I need in life. So I'm really appreciated for that, even though it's kind of hard to deal with, but it is what it is. Um, my advice for current KS kindergarteners would have to be to make the most of your time at KS because time really does fly by fast and you would realize by your senior year you've taken a lot of things for granted and I'd say just make the most of it. Um, my plans for the future would have to be going to college to play volleyball because that is something I really enjoy doing and I wanted to play up I wanted to play volleyball at the next level f since I was 10. And I do want to major in law or business because I either want to pursue my passions in metaphysics and naturopathic products for businesses. And for law, I just really want to work in the field that has to do with land ownership here in Hawaii and Native Hawaiians and that cultural clash with land ownership. Um, what I would say to Pauahi is thank you for leaving such a legacy behind that is so impactful for not just a handful of kids, it's literally kids internationally ranging um, because the opportunities that she provides and the hope that she gives for students to have a brighter future is something that not a lot of people are able to have, especially because it's mostly for Hawaiians. And for her to be able to give so much, even though she's no longer here, I think that's something that a lot of people should look forward to for inspiration. And she's definitely impacted my life, so I would say thank you to her if I could. And mahalo for the 13 years. Aloha, my name is Taylor Moniz and I'm from Honolulu. Um, if I had to describe my time at KS in one word, I would just say that it was amazing because um, the 13 years I've spent here have been the best years of my life, even though I've had some hard times. I think that these years have made me who I am and we've made amazing memories. We've made, I've made amazing friends. Um, it's just been an awesome time and an awesome place to be. Uh, my favorite memory at KS would definitely be my freshman year biology class because I met my favorite people in that class. I had like all of my friends. <laughs> um, and I also met my um, mentor in life. Um, my honors biology teacher was Miss Ish, and she took me under her wing, and she told me to join the honor science research program at school, and she taught me everything I know about research and even about life. I text her all the time, um, like, just if I need advice or I'm going through something, she's like a rock for me. So that was definitely, like, the best class and the best memory I've had here. Um, the biggest lesson that I've learned throughout my time at KS is just to Surround yourself with good people. I think our class of 2021 is filled with such amazing human beings. And I'm so blessed to be one of them. Um, and throughout my time here, I've just been surrounded by such amazing people, um, amazing peers, amazing teachers, um, mentors, people I, will, people I will take with me past these years after I graduate. Um, so I guess that would be my advice to any current KS kindergartner. Um, surround yourself with great people, make great relationships. Um, don't be afraid to talk to new people. Um, I've made some of my best friends just like talking to people in class. Um, so just don't be afraid and don't take a second for granted. Um, when you're old like me, um, you'll wish that you could walk down Keiku stairs one more time. Um, You'll miss all of it, so just don't take anything for granted. Oh, my plans for the future, I plan to go to college, I don't know where yet, um, and study biology. And after that, I want to pursue a PhD 
in cell and molecular biology so I can become a professional cancer researcher. Um, and if I could say anything to Pwahi, I would just say thank you for the people, for the experiences, for believing in us, um, and giving us a chance. Um, it's been great. So, mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Livia Mossman. I'm from Kane Ohe. Uh, if I could describe chaos in one word, I would describe it as rewarding. My favorite memory at KS is um, performing and being on stage in the auditorium, whether it was from the fifth grade play or from one of the six concerts I've danced in at the Kamehameha Dance Company. And being able to perform and being lively with my peers has been some of my favorite moments so far. Big lesson that I've learned from being here at KS is to always be true to yourself. And it's important to be true to others, but always be true to yourself. Uh, some advice I would have for current KS kindergartners is, although you may want to, um, try not to grow up too fast and hold on to whatever's left of being a child. And remember that the world is what you make it to be. So hold on to your creativity, passion, and imagination. Um, I plan to go to college up at BYU in Provo, in Utah, and um, I hope to someday travel the world and see all that has to offer. KS really gave me the drive to go on out there and explore all that there is to explore. And if I could say anything to Pohi, I would say that because of her grace, generosity, and out of the goodness of her heart, I'm proud to be the person I am today and forever thankful for how much she's prepared me for life. Mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Corlin Navarro. I am from Pro City. One word I would use to describe my time at KS is dedication. KS taught me how to dedicate my time to things and people that I love, and it also gave me people who dedicate their time to me, and it gave me a safety net to of people who I can rely on. My favorite memory of KS is probably KDC or Kamehameha Dance Company Spring Concerts. It's all student-led, and I was fortunate enough to be one of those students to be able to choreograph, to pick out my own costumes, to do everything from music to lighting, and it gives you a sense of pride just to be able to show people your work and everything that I love and being able to do it with people that I love. The biggest lesson that I learned at KS is probably to not be scared to ask for help. Life is hard and going through high school and middle school and elementary and everything is, is a big struggle, but KS gave me people who are, I can lean on them and it also gave me outlets of my like frustration or anger of anything, which is my dance. And it also has a great counseling team where I would always go in and, and complain about my schedule and they would fix it for me, no problem. Advice for a current KS kindergartner, I would say to try anything and everything. Don't be scared to try something new, whether you think it's gonna make you weird or you think only weird people do that because everything is for everyone. So just try everything. I didn't think I was gonna like Color Guard or I was gonna be a bad nerd, but it became one of my biggest loves of life and I'm, I'm a captain now, so it's great. Um, so just try anything and everything and then stick to the ones that you love. My plan for the future, I want to study criminal justice or criminal psychology and fight to make the world a safer place, to give people a sense of safety, and that's what KS gave me. It showed me that I have a protectiveness and I want to protect people, so that's what I want to do in the future. One thing that I would say to Pawahi is thank you. You gave me a place where I could not only be who I am, but you also shaped me to be a better person. And I thank you for that. And mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Joyne Uhiva. I am from White and I. If I had to describe my time in KS in one word, it'd be worthwhile. I wouldn't trade anything that I've done at KS for anything else, anywhere else. Um, my favorite memory at KS would have to be sixth grade Huaka'i. We went to Big Island for five days without our cell phones. We were only allowed cameras, but mine broke on the third day or it ran out of battery, so I didn't get many pictures. Um, but it was really nice to disconnect from electronics because I'd gotten my first iPhone that year. Um, and it was nice to connect with my classmates and my friends. We 
you know, we pretended to sneak out or we planned to sneak out into each other's rooms and that never really worked. But the planning was definitely fun. <laughs> we also got to see the alala um, and even see hale ma'uma'u, which I had never seen before. So a lot of things that I would have never experienced without huaka'i. Yeah. The biggest lesson I've learned at KS is to ask for help when you need it. Um, that is not embarrassing or anything because people here just want to see you succeed and to take advantages of you know the resources and I guess the support that they have because as I said before they just want you to succeed. Um, yeah my advice for current KS kindergarteners would probably be to ask for help when you need it to take advantage of everything that KS has to give you because they have a lot of things to offer. Um, I guess it would also be another piece of advice that I'd have for current KS kindergarteners is to, I guess, you know, write down everything to take pictures and videos to kind of take it in because 13 years really does go by fast. I, I swear it was like yesterday when the senior that was holding my hand at Founders Day called me a cutie pie. Um, but it goes by really fast. And if you don't have pictures or you don't have videos, it's kind of a shame. So, yeah. Um, as for my plans for the future, I have two main areas, I guess, that I'm interested in. The first being history. I always liked reading and writing. And so I guess my time at KS, my teachers who I've had, the opportunities I had, you know, through like field trips, um, like I mentioned, or I didn't mention actually, like field trips. Um, we went to, we had a DC trip in eighth grade. That was optional, but I got to go to the Smithsonian museum which I would have never been able to go to alone and seeing that museum really influenced me and wanted made me interested in museum curation. Um, another field that I'm interested in it would be conservation and I guess environmental science as a whole I guess. Seeing or learning about the environment and nature through a Hawaiian lens at Kamehameha definitely influenced me or I guess made me interested in this field and a lot of the presentations that we had from people who visited the school or a lot of the field trips we had to Lo'i or um, Lokoi'a or even the Alalak that I mentioned in earlier for the Huoka'i that made me very much want to have or I guess that made me want to have those experiences be available for people after me. Um, to Powahi, I would say thank you for your foresight because without you, I guess, worrying about the future of Hawaiian people, there wouldn't really have been any. <laughs> um, I'd say thank you because without you, a lot of I wouldn't have had a lot of the opportunities I've had at KS. Um, mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Dalton Ramada. I'm from Mililani, Oahu. To describe my time at KS in one word, I would say life-changing because of the many opportunities I've been given, the many friendships I've made, the many memories that have come along throughout these 13 years. My favorite memory at KS would have to be the sixth grade Huoka'i trip to Big Island. I would say it's just something that can't be replaced, the memories, the photos, the fun times that we've had. The biggest lesson I've learned at KS would have to be to just embrace yourself, be who you are, and don't let someone else tell you who you are, determine who you are. Um, my advice for a current KS kindergartner, soak it up, man. It's, these next 13 years are going to fly by fast. Um, plans for future, I'm planning to go into television. Um, film media production in California. Well, I would say to Puahi, th I just want to thank her for these amazing th 13 years, for all the memories I've made, friendships that will last a lifetime. Mahalo for 13 years. Aloha, my name is Naino Watanabe and I'm from Kailua. Um, if I were to describe my time at KS in one word, I would say impactful. Um, I just think that the lessons and experiences that I've had at KS over these past 13 years are going to affect my life, you know, um, for, you know, my entire life. And I really think that my time at KS was, you know, that KS was impactful on my life. Um, my favorite memory at KS would have to be um, back in elementary school during sixth grade. Uh, at the end of sixth grade, we had this party 
and we got to like do like a lip sync competition. And uh, me and a couple friends did Party in the USA, and that's something that I'll never forget. Um, the biggest lesson that I've learned at KS um, would have to be that you know the Hawaiian culture and you know the Hawaiian community is going to go with me wherever I go. You know, no matter how far I go to Hawaii, go from Hawaii, I can always come back, and uh, you know, I just it's always going to be with me. Uh, my advice for a current KS kindergartner would be uh, to not take life too seriously right now. Um, to go after your own interests and, you know, just expand on those, you know, interests and opportunities. Uh, my plans for the future uh, are to go to college. I'm thinking of college on, main, on the mainland, so I'm really looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, um, my time at Kamehameha has, you know, given me the chance to apply to these colleges and um, actually get in, so that's really great. Um, something I'd like to say to Puahi is thank you you know, without you, without your legacy, your, you know, my life would not have been the same. Um, I can't imagine where I'd be today, and, you know, my knowledge of myself and my identity, you know, it wouldn't be the same without you. Mahalo for 13 years. Yeah.